Hey there, I'm the Stock Boy, and welcome to the Stock Boy Gaming Channel. We're going to be looking at this Dubashi and Overflawed Spotlight that GTA has going on this week if you're watching it in real time. If not, we're looking at the Wagner versus the Zeno versus the Champion and the Autark. It's an awesome four way supercar battle. The two top Overflods versus the two top Dubashis. We're going to see which one is the best in game manufacturer for these cars. So, it's Dubashi versus Overflawed. And we're putting the Dubashi cars up against each other first, then we'll put the Overflawed cars up against each other, and then the winner from each of those will face off. So by the end of this video, we will crown a champion. But first up, we are at my drag strip, and the Wagner is beating the champion to the eighth mile line. Champion's gonna do everything it can to claw its way back. We're going to the quarter mile, but it's not going to. The Wagner is either really fast in a straight line, or the champion is kind of slow. We're gonna find out which one. Next up though, we've got our Overflawed matchup. It's the Zeno and the Autark, and apparently I really like blue, but these blue colors just look so good on cars. I guess I can't really help it. The Autark jumps off the line quickly and actually beats the Zeno to the eighth mile. So now we've got the Zeno, and it's newer in this game. You would expect it to be quicker. It does claw its way back and win by the time we get to the quarter mile line. So. It is the winner of that race, but off the line, I was really surprised. That Autark is quick. So now, Zeno versus Wagner. Which one's going to get to the quarter mile line first? We're going to stop at the eighth mile because that's what we do. See which car gets off the line best. This time it's the Zeno. So the Zeno has a slight advantage over the Wagner. We're going to see if the Wagner can crawl its way back into this race now. But it's not going to. The Zeno has a couple tenths of an advantage by the time we get there. And you can see the Zeno at a 10.6. It's not an HSW drag time, but it's really respectable for the supercars class. And both the Wagner and the Autark are in the 10s. The Champion down in the 11s. That's kind of slow. So we're going to see if the Champion can redeem itself here at my custom speedway. I did way too many laps in each of these cars here, as I always do, and then do some fancy math on my end to figure out which one got around the fastest and what its average speed was around the entire 1.4 mile oval. And that's what I'm gonna show you right here. We've got another Zeno victory. So the Zeno's looking really good at 135. The Wagner right behind it again, but the Autark this time drops beneath the champion. So the champion may be redeeming itself a little bit. When we're looking at the speed score, that's definitely gonna help. It's gonna need a solid showing here at my test track though, and it's got a monster of a competitor in the Wagner. That Wagner handles really well, and the Champion leaves a little bit to be desired. I've tested that car on my channel before multiple times in my weight reduction video and when the contract update came out. I've said it each time, it doesn't handle like it should. It should have a little bit more rotation. It's not a horrible handling car, and I actually like driving it, but it doesn't rotate very well. On the other side, on the top of your screen, the Wagner Driving it again reminded me during the making of this video how much I used to love the car and I think I'm gonna have to bust it out of my garage a little bit more often. You can see it gets to the reverse start finish line much quicker than the champion and it just glides right through this final section here. As we're going around that final banked corner it has a massive advantage over the champion. It's on the home stretch. The champion is just now getting there as the Wagner crosses the finish line. So when it comes to Dubashi, it's an undisputed victory for the Wagner. Now we're going to see which one's going to take on the Wagner from the overflawed side. And we've got the Autark on the top, Zeno on the bottom, as you'll see on your screen there. The Autark handles really well. I was actually surprised when I drove it again. It does beat the Zeno to that first gantry, but it's handling, it's a little too tight. I don't want to say it understeers because it doesn't really, but it doesn't rotate near as much as the Zeno and the uh, Wagner, which makes it a little bit more challenging in my opinion. Most people, maybe not most people, some of you may like it. If you like cars like the Calico GTF, you'll probably love it, but you can see the Zeno starting to crawl its way back through some of those higher speed sections. So we've got quite the race here. That Zeno is trying to reel in the Autark, and once we get to this gantry, the Autark does extend its lead again, but we know based on our other tests, the Zeno is a little bit faster in a straight line, so can it catch up? 
it will, and it actually passes the Autark, beating it by only a tenth of a second. Very close race, and we've got another really close race coming here. The Zeno and the Wagner. So both of these cars I love, and I actually drive the Zeno fairly often. It's pretty nice, a lot of rotation. Can be a little tricky to handle, but once you get used to it, it's awesome. And you can see that first sector, it just blows through it and it's already got a decent gap on the Wagner. But now the Wagner is a little bit more stable than that Zeno, so I would expect that to help it here. And it does reel in the Zeno a little bit when we get to the second gantry. And as we go through that hairpin, they are deadlocked going down this long sweeping right corner. And we're gonna see, can the Zeno keep the lead? It doesn't, it actually extends it there, which surprises me a little bit. The Zeno is really a great car and retesting it for this video, I actually beat my old time by about five tenths of a second, half of a second. It's still got the lead by the time we get to the final gantry, by the way, but that's why I retest these cars with every video I do. I don't know what I did last time I tested the Zeno, but it's really fast and it's two tenths faster than the Wagner here at my test track. So we see these times now, a 55 second for the top three, only separated by two tenths of a second. That is absolutely fantastic. The champion's a little bit slow. That's been a theme throughout this whole video, but it is the second fastest Dubashi, so there's a reason why it's here. It is in the bottom when it comes to speed score though, and the Zeno is at the top, which means the Zeno is the fastest overall of all these cars. So. Overflawed is better than Dubashi. There's the answer to the big question. And if you're watching this video going, wait a minute, what the hell is a speed score? Well, I've got a video on that. I'll put a card on your screen there so you can find it. But it's basically a Forza style score that takes overall performance into consideration rather than just one test. The whole purpose of my channel is to get you to think a little bit outside the box for GTA performance. What makes a good car? Driving fast around a single track doesn't make a great car. Going faster on multiple tracks does. And this gives you a great picture of overall performance. The individual tests tell you a lot about the car, but you put it all together, you get that speed score. You can say, all right, this car is the better of the two, especially when you have cars that are as evenly matched as those top three you saw here. Thank you so much for joining today and I really hope you enjoyed the video. If you did, Please subscribe to the channel, helps me out a ton, and I'd love to hear from you in the comments too. What'd you think about this list? Maybe you hate these cars, maybe you love them. Thanks so much again for joining, and I hope to see you next time.